Hello there. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Boardroom's AI tools to write compelling product descriptions for your e-commerce store. Now I've come over here to the AI tools section of the menu, and then I clicked on the product description template. And all I'm going to do next is fill out this brief questionnaire asking me questions about my product and my business. Boardroom is then going to engineer a prompt for the AI, and then we'll get our product description in a matter of seconds. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to enter a short description of my product. And I'll just use a real example from an e-commerce store that I was operating a couple of years ago. So I was selling a product called an underwater snorkel. The brand name that the AI should mention was called Splashor. The target audience could be described as, let's call them outdoor enthusiasts. Next, the key features, keywords, or benefits that should be mentioned in the product description include that it's a no fog mask, it's easy to assemble, and it allows you to dive without fear. Next, we describe the tone that we'd like the AI to use in the description. This is an important one because the AI is capable of writing in so many different styles that it does help to specify. I'm gonna say, let's use an energetic tone. Finally, I get a text box where I can add any additional instructions that might be specific to my brand or my product. For example, if there's a promotion at your store that you'd like to have mentioned in the product description, you could just jot that down in this box. For the sake of this example, I'm gonna go ahead and just write limit to 50 words so that our description is short and sweet. Now, if you don't know the answer to these questions, don't worry. Technically, only the first question is required and you could leave the rest blank and still get a pretty good product description. But we do recommend that you take the time to think through these questions. This is not only gonna help you get a good product description, but it's also gonna help you think through your marketing messaging. So once I'm satisfied with my answers, I'm gonna go ahead and click generate product description. Notice that in a matter of seconds, we get a product description appearing over here on the right side of the screen. So you could read this if you'd like, pause the video, but it's a pretty compelling product description written by an AI. Now there are various actions that I can take here in boardroom. For example, I can click this button here and copy this to my clipboard. I could click this button and delete this product description if I wanted to, or I could click this button in the middle here and edit. This is important because the description that I get from the AI is never gonna be 100% perfect. There are typically just a few tweaks I wanna make. Maybe I wanna update the formatting here. Maybe I even want to embed an image into my product description. There's a whole host of formatting and tweaking that I might wanna do just to make this product description as perfect as possible. But when I'm done, I just click update the changes will be saved here in Boardroom. And then I can click Publish if I'm satisfied with this product description. So I click Publish to Shopify, choose my connected store. I have a drop down list here because in Boardroom, you can connect multiple shops into the same dashboard for no additional cost. So you can see I've got about oh, six Shopify stores connected here. I'm gonna choose this one. I'm gonna find my product. For me, it was an underwater snorkel. And I'll just go ahead and click Publish Description. You can see I get this success message here, and I get a link to go to that product, which is repeated down here. So what happened now is this exact product description that we just created with the AI has been published onto my real Shopify store. And if I click that link, I'm taken to the product page and now we can see that product description is appearing here on the website. So that's it for this tutorial video. Thanks for watching.